I am lagging. I am lagging. I am lagging. Lag for you, lag for me, a little lag for everyone. Okay, I think I may be lagging because I added the extensions. Welcome aboard. Uh, I'm doing a little experiment today. This is just uh, living and doing in Astroneer. I'm just going to wander around and do stuff. I'm testing out a couple new extensions that I added to the chat for Twitch. Um, so if you're here, uh, please check out the extensions. And I'm not sure if you have to install them yourself as well. Uh, the extensions I'm running is uh, Stream Legends which is a side game that uh, you can play in the bottom of the screen with other people in the chat. And then the other one is a uh, below screen avatar where, you know, uh, other people will be able to see who's on and who's in the chat um, at the present time. Um, let's see. It's saying, okay, so in the stream chat over on the right, you'll see a little blurb or splash, and it says uh, Legends. And it says Stream Avatars is offline. Okay. Let's change that. Thank you guys for tuning in. Again, this is Casual Grinder. I did update my information. Um, It is saying it's active. Huh. Stream Legends, Extension Panel Overlay, and Panel 1 Overlay 1. Add as a new panel. Extension. Okay. Let's try it now. I'm going to back up. Go to dashboard, go to chat, look at the chat, there's a little splash bubble to the right. It says it's still offline. Maybe that's okay. View details. So I guess Huh. Okay, so it looks like chat avatars is not going to work. And I don't see the other one even show up in the list. So already my, uh, my experiment seems to have uh, failed its intended target. So it's just saying... Stream avatars is an application enabling viewers in your Twitch stream to be represented uh, represented with avatars and gear images that you import. The avatars extension panel is a user interface for viewers to control and customize their avatar. It can be found on the stream store. App 665-300 stream underscore avatars. Okay, so I guess the avatars will work once I import images for them. Okay, well, sorry about that. Um, what about the other... Um, the other stuff going on here? There's supposed to be another... Huh. There's supposed to be another another option, which is the stream legends. Rooms, create room. Room name. Stream legends. Legends players.
Okay. Moderators, subscribers, everyone, previewable, create room. Okay, so maybe in here, nope, it's still giving stream avatars. So maybe it's one overrides the other. So since I don't have the avatars up here right now, how about we disable that? So we go to uh, stream avatars, deactivate, and then we go to stream legends overlay one and two, and we refresh and see what we get in chat. Welcome to stream legends. Join the conversation in stream legends. Uh, Okay, nope, that's just taking us right to our chat space. So yeah, maybe, um, oh, okay, so I've got two versions here. One is an overlay and one is a panel. So maybe we should turn one of them off deactivate maybe it's confusing like there's two versions and I'm running them both okay so let's try that thank you guys for your patience as I'm trying to figure this stuff out here okay delete room yeah it's seeming not to work um <clears throat> so the stream legends doesn't seem to be working either so that's kind of maybe I have to have them activated before the show or um, something like that okay now active in slot one so Let's see. Stream info, chat. Um, standard emotes. Look at the, these emotes here. <laughs> if you go to the bottom on your smartphone and stream chat uh, for Twitch, there's under emotes, there's just some really silly stuff under there. Um, I guess I'm going to uh, work in the future on trying to get some of these utilities running. So thank you for being patient at the beginning of this. Um, I was just checking to see if I could get either of those utilities to work and they don't seem to be working. If they work for you, let me know. Maybe it's not working for me because I'm actually the owner of the channel. I, I have no idea. Um, so yeah, I guess I got to do some more research. That's what I get for just trying to jump in and do stuff. But that's how I am. I'll just jump in and try to do stuff before I uh, go through. I don't know. I, I guess it wouldn't be called cheating, really. But I, I kind of feel like it's cheating when I'm not trying to at least figure out the basics on my own. Um, anyway, we of course need everything everyone in the world needs that is here in Astroneer. Um, more resource nodes and minerals and all that good stuff. So we're going to just keep going here. What I really should do is invest the time into making the. Uh, yeah, see this terrain? It's just horrible, isn't it? Okay, so maybe I should invest some of my time in base remodification because it looks like it's high time for some remodification going on. So let's set that up. Um, woo! I've noticed that lately. It's launching you out of the vehicle. I think that was, I don't know, it wasn't doing that before. So, I don't know. <laughs> I would hate it to launch me out of the vehicle while I'm sp 
spawning underneath the vehicle. That would just launch your vehicle up into space like we did the other day on the video. Um, I've got a full day today, so I'm going to start getting stuff done in uh, sequential order. First item of the day is uh, getting a tutorial video. Or not tutorial video, but one of my stream videos out of the way. Okay, and um, we want to take some of my cylinders back. I don't know where all my cylinders went. <laughs> okay, so it would be nice if if your bag was open and you hit X, the device would go to your... But, you know, that's just a minor thing. Coal from the other planet, for those that miss that. <coughs> that was uh, interesting. We're going to grab the wide mod, because we're going to be doing some uh, wide modifications. I'm going to get rid of this dynamite, because it's just plain dangerous to have around. And I might need the extender. Um, and why not? Some extra power and uh, air don't hurt when you're building around your base. That way you're not worried about running out of air. Okay, so we need to get dirt. That's the first step. So I'm going to have to find our hole. And that's the first thing I'm going to do, actually, is make this more... Uh, feasible for my vehicle to go down so um, the best way to do that in my opinion from what I've been experiencing would be um, okay wait we need to take this wide mod oh hold on we need to take this canister off put this wide mod see it turn green now see how big my rectangle is isn't that amazing so I can't do anything until I get dirt so I'm gonna just try to get in close as I can to my Hear how fast my uh, container just filled up. Bloom. That was pretty quick. Now I can um, flatten this to make it. See how much space it's doing at once? That's amazing. Grab that real quick. Oh, didn't mean to do that. See little little things like that. You can accidentally do, and this way you don't have to panic. There we go, and we're just gonna delete away some of that actually. Okay, where did that... Oh my gosh, it's still falling. Okay, we're just going to re-rig these as we... Okay, I think this one's too close anyway. Oh, here comes the storm. Perfect timing for me to get out of dodge. So that's connected to the one from above. I'm just going to keep going down here because I really have no interest in getting one hit by giant flying rocks. Yes, thank you. My tooth feels much better today. Still taking antibiotics. <coughs> but yeah, you really should not ignore 
if you have bad mouth pain, could infect you to the point that it could kill you, bruh. You don't want you don't want to be killed by no tooth infection. You know what I'm saying? It's like silly way to go out. Whoa! I'm sliding as I'm building. That's crazy. Okay, so whoa! I almost stepped right off that. Um, so yeah. This is connected to the power yet down there, so I would, well, I would not suffocate because I've got really good uh, oxygen supply. Why is there not... Oh, okay, it goes out. <sighs> Interesting. So, really, this is a good pitch that I'm sitting on. So, technically, I should probably... So I tried. I tried to add extensions and it didn't work. Uh, I'm have to do a few more test runs. Future more research. Whatever. There were tutorials how to use extensions and I didn't. I didn't want you would, you know, I just kind of, I fall short on my own endeavor. Uh, anyway, so hopefully I'll go back, I'll just get better, figure out how to get these extensions working, and, you know, so when I'm doing stuff like this, or, you know, really, I'm just kind of chattering, I just want to be here and hang out, I can be here and hang out, I can play something. weird that it kind of come up all bumpy even though I'm using the flat tool. See what I'm saying? I guess it doesn't flatten very well with that wide. Oh, it, maybe it just takes longer and I'm not waiting for it. Huh. That's interesting see how it's not really flat okay well let's see here take that off put on the, the canister oh which is full of dirt already see it does fill with dirt even when it's let's see what happens here It seems to be building upward. Oh, it's because I'm not grabbing. Oh, I see. Because it grabs one particular panel. And when you have the wide mod, it's grabbing too many panels at once. So it's not really picking a... It's cloning all panels below it. Which is why it was doing that. Whereas this, I grabbed one specific panel. And that one specific panel allows... Huh. Okay, I see. I get it.
Okay. Uh, so yeah. So that explains that. The wide mod grabs too many little rectangles or polygons at a time, which makes it um, build whatever it's picked up off of the, off of the surface. So. Okay. That makes sense now. Putting uh, torches on the ceiling is always the best idea because they will uh, not be disturbed with your constructions or deconstructions. Whee! Okay, and um, we've come down here, it looks like. Let's see what I can... Alright, so I cleared out. Oh, that's right. There was a whole space with a ton of stuff in it. And it was... I remember now. I remember now. Okay. And see, up here is... Kind of... Try to get that lip back to Ooh, here comes the wind. I hear my turbine. Anyway, so yeah, you're just kind of watching me clean up my uh, act over here. Um, again, I was mainly testing extensions. watching videos though because I feel like you know I'm, I'm not learning it myself but you know you take the learning curves of those who came before you to make your life a little easier than it was for them starting the evolution of things I don't glitch it and launch it into space because I'm building around it. Oh, see, its leg is in there now. I don't know. I might end up. I might end up screwing it up. just built over that tether that's I mean those are just asking for glitches <laughs> I really uh, it's getting sloppy see like right there I, I just covered that whole series of torch uh, of tethers which is kind of probably a bad thing uh, but anyway Now, I've seen players on my Facebook groups that have made really detailed um, 
building structures. So if any of you guys watch my videos and you're interested in showing me, I would love to uh, put at least a wind wall around my zone here to prevent uh, rocks from just nailing me in the face while I'm working. If not, that's cool as well. Whatever. Whatever works. I'm just happy people tune in. I appreciate it. Now, why is this that was following that level over there getting lower than this over here? See, that makes no sense. See what I'm saying? Why? Oh, because maybe it's flattening on a hill? I, I don't know. See, this is the true flat right here. This is what I was going by. That is weird, so I guess leveling to your... See, just as I came back, it started getting higher again. Huh. So there's multiple levels even on this, which is bizarre. Okay, yeah, and I see him. Okay, well maybe if I use the wide mod and take a big patch of really good material, it will, uh... <clears throat> See, like, take this big patch of really flat good material. The whole circumference of my base. Like, man, it would be nice if one of those extension games worked. This is really boring. I should honestly be using this time to. I, I don't know if they'll live update or not. Okay, we're taking a risk here, folks. We're going to attempt to launch this ship, come back, and re-land, and hopefully land with it flat. What have I got in my bags? All kinds of fun stuff, so if I die, I die, whatever. Part of the adventure, right? So, we're going to take off. Oh, it didn't glitch. It. Let's explore somewhere real quick too while, while we're up here uh, wasting our fuel. We might as well check out some um, some bizarre location. Something that looks bizarre. Right there. That looks like a lot of wreckage right there on that mountain or something. Let me check that out. 
We got some room. We got at least one node we can put on there. We got three holes for other stuff. I've got extended power and battery, so we could explore a little bit, maybe find some compound, make some tethers. Let's see what we got here. Exploring to me is like really fun. It's as fun as building. And it doesn't have to be monsters and all that crap. It just has to be challenging. Like trying to find compound. Uh, in the middle of a whole new area. It's, you know, it's something... Oh, things are just spawning in, I see. And the good thing is, even if you get a little distance away, your ship is marked on the map there. Oh, nice, there's a tunnel right here. Okay, is there anything down there I can see? Nope. Um, looking for compound on the surface in the vicinity of my ship. I've got several oxygen containers, so I'm not really that scared yet. I really cannot stress, if, if you're getting an infection or something from a tooth or whatever, and you've lanced it or can or whatever, and you know, it's still getting worse. Do not just go to go go get it taken care of. It can kill you. It's pretty crazy. I thought I was invincible. Okay, we're gonna refill my mini oxygen tank. See it there on the right side. It's filling up, and there we go. What do we got? Oh, look! Straight ahead up on that cliff up there, not only is there a panel, it looks like to be... You know, I've never tried to launch into space with a panel hooked to me. We could try that. Um, I would want to make a beacon here so that we can re-land here and hook a winch to that and see if we can... That, that'll be fun. Okay, so that's our next... That'll probably be the name of this, is... Uh, uh, space salvaging. Oh, this large... Oh, you see what's happening? The large um, uh, boost mod for my gun is draining my battery at an expedient rate. So we need to take that off. Not very efficient for scavenging, as we're finding out. Take that, put it in there. Um, should actually take this stuff that I got in my bag. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, we need to target a whole unit. And this makes things handier too when you're if you're uh, exploring. You can just take your little platforms down. The wind's not going to blow them away. I'm going to use that so it's out of my hair. The extra battery is not needed. Um, let me hook it to the ship. Put this mod on. I don't need this extender, which kind of... Okay, I didn't... I wasn't really as prepared as I should have been when I came here. But anyway, um, yeah, we need to get up to those minerals and such that are up there. And the only way we're going to do that is... Oh my, it's like being inside a cave, but it's not in a cave. Okay, so we're gonna quickly get some of this pump, go to our bag, which hopefully isn't shoved up our nose, make the tethers. Oh, we're gonna run out of power. Oh, you will die if you run out of power. 
Okay, so um, why isn't that recharging? Then? Okay, so I guess. Okay, let's see. So we leave the oxygen here. Leave the oxygen here. Um, bring the battery power. And am I hearing a wind? I am. So I'm going to get in here real quick because I hear a wind in the distance. There it is over there, see it? Thank you for watching. You're watching Casual Grinder. If you're into PvP and that kind of thing, you can... Uh, hey look, the stream chat showed up. Um, oh yeah, okay. Putting, I was putting silly images in there. Um, good, the cloud left. Okay. Okay, we needed a beacon. Right, we need a beacon. And, um, what the hell? Okay. have the power to make it. Crap Ola. Okay. Perhaps if I can get up to that wreckage up there, there might be a no, because that's just a solar panel. Okay, I have no choice, but I don't know how I'm gonna mark this place. I can't Oh uh, man. Okay, maybe putting the battery pack onto my equipment is going to come on. Um Yeah, maybe putting it on my equipment will help. Um, but I think they work for me a pack. I don't know. Well, let me make a beacon because I don't have power. How am I going to know where I'm at? <laughs> Crap. There's no way to... way to show where I am when I leave here. So getting back to that solar panel without a beacon, uh, I can't do it. Huh. I can't make a beacon because I don't have enough power. And my device here doesn't have solar collectors at all. The ship seemed to be like kind of a, a mini base in the past and they changed that. Like it used 
to have these connectors on the side here you could connect stuff to Yeah, finding my way back here. Is that a capsule to the left of it, though? Oh, man. I'm really wanting to... Oh, man. Look at that up there. See that off to the left? That could have... I mean, it's, that's the thing. I could find a body here that's got a solar panel on it. Look, there's more compound. This little zone right here is rich with stuff. Okay. Maybe I just die here. I thought of that. Because then the ship would mark where I'm at. And I could just land nearby with a rover or something. Which... I don't think you can carry your rovers, so I don't know how that would even work. Okay, this is definitely a solar panel array. What's this over here? Oh, it's an unknown. Okay. I skated from all the way up there, all the way down here, and around my ship once. Okay, so, hmm, how do we mark this location? We can't. We can't. Feasible. It's not feasible, Captain. Ooh, if I could attach that solar panel to me, that would be amazing. But I don't think clips will attach to yourself. Oh, that's kind of stinky. Um, so yeah, I don't see a wreckage just nearby in the distance maybe if I get in my ship that's pretty high up Let's see if I get a better view okay lots of rocks cave cave got a hole I made wait I see something there something flashed over to the right yeah Oh, that's the flowers popping in and out of here. Okay, so I don't see anything else. I'm just going to go back to my base. If I'm lucky enough to... It looks like two mountain twin white peaks. So maybe I can find this location again. See, as we go into space, you can see, see the two, the white... Ah, come on. Seems like mountain, white mountain peaks. Um, it's closer to the orange side versus the other side. So I think we want that one. Ooh, crap. Um, crap. Crap, crappity crap. I didn't realize, I forgot I had built that over there.
Oh my gosh, really? I can't move. <laughs> oh, the ship is literally pinned. My rover. Okay. So, we need to take gas and fuel this thing up. Here, we might as well try to uh, do the winch bit while we're there. So I'm going to build a winch real quick. I lost my other winch into space. If anybody saw that episode, that was... Uh... <laughs> um, just a word of thought to people, do not... What you do not want to do is um, hmm. is there a place for it over here? What you do not want to do is um, uh, man, now I'm forgetting what I'm even talking about. Uh, oh run out of fuel is for one. <laughs> that's, that's a bad, that's a no-no. Don't, don't run out of fuel. What? Come on. Target it for God's sake. Act like it's rocket science. Come on. Target it. It's right there. I'm pointing at it. Yeah, the targeting system is way jacked up for some reason. I don't know. See? Uh, stupid. Okay. Um, I'm going to take this off. We're going to think twice before we leave this time. So I'm going to just hook a solar panel. I'm going to hook a few things onto myself this time so that I'm self-contained for power and all that crap. So, ugh, come on. Fucking targeting system. Okay. This is going to give me 5k. Maybe I'll unlock most of everything else before they do the new update. I'm sure there'll be another new update. Um, of course there will. It's saying, attach a chair. No, I don't want to attach a chair. I want to take this platform off. There's lots of discussion in the Facebook group about the rockets. Uh, somebody stepped on it and launched it, and it stuck him into the ceiling. Uh, another guy used it, and he got himself out of a cave. Um, so this time, I'm going to have a beacon in case I need it. I've got tethers. I've got oxygen. Got an extra battery. What I don't have is, and I would think the best thing to have would be the wind turbine. So I'm going to unlock my wind turbine, my personal wind turbine. extenders, miniature solar, mini small wind turbine. That's the best thing to have because you can get that day or night. So we're going to look, uh, what do we need? Um, narrow mod, small fabricator, extender, filter, generator, small wind turbine, one aluminum. We go over to the aluminum. Dude, I, 
I really need to mute my phone when I'm freaking recording. All it does is make noises when people message me. Uh, anyway, um, let's see. There's, I don't know, what do you know? A block of aluminum. I'm just going to make one of these puppies. Because we can pick up wind anywhere. See what I'm saying? Day or night versus the solar panel. And we could be in a cave. So we're at least generating power now. Okay, we got the two titanium there. So we're going to go ahead and um, move to the winch. Uh, winch. Yep. Construct winch. We're going to take you into space, boy. Okay, secondarily, we're going to have to come over here, and I think it takes compound. But I think we can put large storage on the back of this ship. Let's see. Examine. Open one seat. Enclose three seat. Large storage. And it's, oh, it's not going to let us because, maybe because it's sitting funny on the vehicle. It's, I think it's because of, um, hmm. Yep, I think it's because it's sitting on this. So we are going to go back into space and land on the home square, which would be this one over here. Um, and that way we can, um, not really have to wrestle with this situation anymore. Okay, so I'm going to go back into my ship. This is going to be a quick launch and landing. Uh, I'm about over with this video. We're going to do a little bit more. Um, Thank you for hanging out with me this morning, or later, if you're watching me later. Thank you for tuning in. I'm feeling much better. Thank you. Um, you can find me and my son, both of my sons, over on YouTube. Uh, Zombie Zane, or Scary Skeleton, sorry. OP Loud, and myself, Casual Grinder. And uh, OP does uh, games, PvP, PUBG... Battlefield 4, um, Fortnite uh, PvP group and team videos, and then uh, my youngest, he does different <coughs> everything from PvP to PvE, lots of Roblox and indie games, uh, stuff like that, um, tutorials, um, challenges, just standard gameplay, he does all kinds of random stuff. And then I myself, I'm generally in building games or RPGs of some sort. I do like combat, so things that mix combat with building is even better. Like I love Fallout, Fallout 4. And, um, I really dig this because this is more just relax and build. And, um, again, I want to apologize for if I seem moody the last few days. They said I, I had had an infection and didn't realize it. And uh, I'm just now getting to the point where I'm feeling human again. I mean, I felt better yesterday. I feel even better today. So this time, time will take care of it, you know. So 
Nice, that's much better. Uh, and then we can go here. Oh, we're going to have to go grab all these materials that I put in here to do that. But that's okay. Um, let's see. We need one, two, three, four. Alright. Go over here. See, the reason I wanted my thing over there is because it's next to the fuel and all that, but temporarily it being here is okay. Right. Not a big deal. Okay, open one seat, enclose three seat, large storage. See, it's all lighting up now. So there goes the large storage. Boom. That's going to give us tons of room, so that's, that's good. That's good. That's what I'm looking for. Now we need to get this thing out of here because this is our regular landing spot and we're going to put a beacon down over here which I keep forgetting to do so that it really stands out which ring we got to land in to be able to uh, or I could even extend my landing platform and move everything further away which would even be the smarter thing to do. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that right now while my ship is building. I'm going to grab these extenders right here. The extenders. And, uh, okay, see how that's there. I want to put this, just this, over there. So I'm going to take this, disconnect it. Maybe I can grab the whole thing. go this way. Make sure it's nice flat ground. I'm just going to take these right right out of the picture. Okay, move them over here with everything else. But uh, yeah, so we're going to take our fuel depot and stretch it out this way. No, we don't want to do that. We want to use these as far out as we can get them first. Okay, so... Too far, just right. Next one. No extenders left. Good to know. I'm out of oxygen because I've been away from the unit too long. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to central hub the uh, 
the gas stations off of the uh, build station. Oh crap, here comes the storm. Run for your life. Big storm coming, run for your life. Uh, again, um, I'm Casual Grinder. Uh, I'm going to just keep evolving my channel and my material, and all this gets re-uploaded to my YouTube channel, Casual Grinder, on YouTube, yep. And, uh, I'm trying to add extensions to the game, and, um, uh, was kind of trial and erroring that this morning, and it, it just don't seem that it's working. I'm quite sure. Nothing needs to be changed here. Da, 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 da. Huh. Yep, so too confusing to uh, figure out. Uh, check out the storm, I'll be right back. Alrighty, alrighty. So that storm was a beast. Like I said, never get caught out in those storms. They will kill you. I'm not even kidding. Not even kidding. Not in the least bit. Time for my morning. Uh, you got an infected tooth breakfast of yogurt. Because, well, my tooth is jacked. At least it's been repaired. Now we're just uh, waiting for the rest of it to catch up with me. Okay, so we've got this large thing here now. We're going to want the winch. So if things go awry, I'm losing a lot of material and stuff, but, you know, whatever. It wouldn't be fun if we weren't challenging the game somehow. Okay, so we're going to take that and put this over here. Um, I've got a windmill to charge. I want to use this over here. Oh, I want to finish building this so when I land, I can actually land in a, in a happy place. <sighs> a happy place. I can land in a happy place. If you know what I mean. Okay, so I want this to be like right here. I think that's the, di yeah, that's the front, so, hook that to that, and then we're going to take this hydrazine catalyzer, and we're going to put this caddy corner to the left of it. We're just going to connect the juice over to there. There we go. And we're going to grab our hydronizer and put this on the right.
And uh, there it is there. All right, so now we've got our fuel stations set up. We've got some auxiliary power coming in from that turbine on the far side of the uh, catalyzer. That's Um, so yeah, we're just going to take this chair, because these are probably going to be used for vehicles anyway. We're going to take this platform. Oh, my camera will not move okay Looking camera all right so what are we running into over there beacon which we want to make another one let's make a second beacon real quick oh i didn't want to use that that's my sample tray derp 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 uh Right here is usable material. Okay, we're gonna make one more beacon. Canister beacon. Oh, it takes compound. Go figure. All right. Took care of that beacon. Alright, we're going to leave a beacon over here, on this end of the map, um, uh, over here. Uh, we're going to mark this um, blue for... Maybe. Okay, meaning home base. Landing pad. We're going to see how that looks from space with these rings a little further apart because that build station's over there and that one's way over there. Maybe it'll make it a little easier to navigate. Um, let's see what we can add to this puppy, this big old monstrosity at the workstation over here once we get our ship out of the way. So to remind us, there we are, we're putting it right here. Okay, um, secondarily, we could have our, our ship generate power if we wanted by putting turbines on there and even setting a battery instead of the platform, but I'm wanting to carry materials. So I'm going to I'm going to leave those two nodes open for stuff and then one tray for materials. And let's see if we can find that Twin Peak um, location again. And wait, what am I checking my pack before I leave because extenders canister Okay, so I'm going to drop this. Um, this resin in the mist pile. I'm going to pick up another compound from here. Make tethers, because tethers. Important when exploring. Um, okay. 
Okay. We're going to land at the blue marker as long as we can distinguish. Hmm. You know, what would be cool is how I got that solar panel stuck in the sky. Let's see if my chair is still, my rocket. Yep, the rocket's still up there. See it? It's up there in the sky. Right up there. Yep. So what would be cool is if uh, I got my solar panel stuck in the sky by flipping it accidentally when holding the winch. And it went up into space and got locked in the same place in another location. But... It's just stuck up there in the sky. But what would be cool is if you could hook your satellite, I mean that solar dish, to your your uh, base and then flip it up into the sky and it would have a cable coming down that feeds you power. That would be cool. Not very realistic, but cool. Um, or use the rockets to get the solar panel into the sky. I, I don't know. Maybe that. I don't think this oxygen canister really assists anything here. So I'm going to put this back on the tool pile. And I'm going to switch batteries with my full battery. Because... I've got a charge pack, so I'll just end up charging it as I'm walking around. Uh, anyway, let's see. So, looks like we're good to go. We're going to try to find that location just visually in the space map. So, do I have everything I needed from last time? Was canister, bag room. Okay, I think I, I'm good. So we're going to go into space. We're looking for the Twin Peak Mountains that we saw last time. Well, it was almost as soon as we took off. It was, uh, that's the problem, is getting your ship spun around in time to see what's going by. Okay, there were Twin Peak Snow Mountains. They were on the right-hand side, I remember, after launch. I was like, oh, that looks interesting. Let's hope the clouds don't cover up the twin snowy mountains. They were right side by side, not apart like that. They were close together. I'm not seeing them at the moment. Let's see. Twin Peak Mountains. I'm not seeing it. We're already back to the base locations. Twin Peak Mountains. Um, it was right after the base. Okay, there's the base. Oh, it's getting dark. I can't really see. I don't see what looks like Twin Peak Snowy Mountains anymore. That's kind of messed up. Um, maybe the daylight will help. Maybe they weren't snowy peak mountains, they just looked like it because these cloud things up here. Oh. That's dark again as we're coming around on where I need to find our land location. I'm thinking, I was like, oh, I'm almost on the other side of the. Here comes the sun again. Da 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 da. Maybe that was it right there. Hey, 
It is. Oh my gosh, I guessed that perfectly. What are the odds? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. Okay, and it was the clouds that made it look like Twin Mountains. It wasn't really... That's weird. Okay. So, it's nighttime on the range, folks. Let's see. This time we're just going to drop a beacon here. All right. Mark our location for prosperity. Um, as a purple epic land site, I guess. An epic landing site. Most epic sir. Okay, so step one is to get that thing untethered, right? Uh, and maybe killing this plant before it kills us. That's, that just plain would suck. Okay, so we're going to take the resin. Because I'm at a close entrance here, I think I'm changing plans even yet again. Um, I think I'm going to make this into a purple excavation base site and just keep coming back here. Set up a mini base up here in this. It's a pretty... big space and there's compound in here as you see up in the ceiling but it would be easy for me to block this all off put up lights um, and explore the cave system right from this kind of safe zone on Huh. Okay, so we have to go up around the ridge again. Actually, I'm just going to leave that like that. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm going to leave this. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm going to leave this. Okay. I, I've got it. We're not going to try to travel in space with this, though that would be an interesting experiment. Um, I'm going to actually... Um, bake this in a little more. Um, kind of make a... Uh, platform known up of there. Oh. Here comes a storm. Da 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 da. Here comes a storm. And I say, I'm alright. Yep, I'm all right in here. I'm going to get impaled. See if we can witness it as it goes by. Let's see. No. Nope. Do we have any... No, we don't. Oh, look at it out there. 
It is massive. It's giant and purple. It's giant and it's purple. Oh my gosh, look how high up I am. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, look, there's mineral right there. Ores. Okay. Wow, look at that. That is amazing. There's my ship way down there. Purple marker. I can't see markers in the distance. We're way too far on the other side of the planet. They're hidden behind the curvature. So, look, we actually go right here. I'm going to do this number. Go this way. This way, so we get to here. Um, wow, look, there's malachite right there. So, this is a really uh, good spot. It's right close to minerals and deposits and stuff. So I'm just going to make a mini base right here. Not right here, but uh, between the landing zone and here. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do in a second. Let's try to get off this. Uh... Get all this raw material. I'm eating a yogurt. Still on my my ear mouse is screwed up liquid diet. I really I really I just want pizza is what I really What do I want? What I really really want. Well I tell you what I want. What I really really want is some pizza. Yes some pizza. Yes some pizza 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 pizza. Not pizza Rita. Not pizza Rita. Just a pizza. A little, a little pizza. Pizza with pepperoni, pizza with cheese, pizza any way that I would please. Pizza, meat lovers, stuffed crust, make your mouth water. <laughs> no, I'm not getting sponsored from pizza companies, but I am open to Just a pizza. I love that pizza. Okay, there's some oxygen nodes. We're just going to leave those. Let's look out this back window here and see what we see. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is just amazing view out there. Look, it, it's so serene and mystical and magical. What happens if we go up to the top of this? Keep going. Keep going. Oh my gosh, look, it's ice capped. I've got extra oxygen, remember. Guys, don't try this at home. Without carrying extra oxygen one small step for man a giant leap for mankind there here I am at the top of this wow this is wow this is a long way up look you can see the curvature of the planet from here that is just amazing oh my gosh look at that Oh, and there's another cave access on the other side. That's good to know. Okay. So, anyway, <laughs> we don't want to go straight down. That's probably not a good idea. Um, coming down one little trench in at a time, preferably. Ooh, man. Woo! All right, that was fun. Okay. So, um, I can make more tethers, I can make a canister, I can make a work light, I can make a beacon, I can make a uh, fabricator. Extenders is what we want. I need copper. So, so, we 
we're gonna go down here and put our minerals on the uh, ship oh that hurt don't fall too far you'll kill yourself Okay, so this is for mineral gathering. Uh, so I have some extra material I put somewhere. Where the hell did it go? Oh, it just fell on the ground. Okay. So we're going to use that for tethers. Because we're going to just bore straight through here like, I don't know, bad guys. Just like this. <sighs> At a nice gradual pace. Okay, we ran out of tethers. Make more. haven't even found cave yet. That's crazy. There we go. Cave.
Oh yeah! Yogurt, the other white meat. This is kind of creepy if you think about, you know, what yogurt is and what you're... <laughs> like, I am eating microdive. 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 Same. Same as eating on microorganisms. Instead of billions at a time, you're eating billions of microorganisms at a time eating yogurt. You only eat one at a time if you eat a hamburger. And not even one. You're only getting a tiny, itty, bitty, bitty, itty, bitty chunk of it. Ooh. What do we got here? It is a strawberry face. They, they, something, total 2%, something, I don't know, some weird yogurt thing my wife got for me because I can't eat solids, and it's really hard to mix up in this thing it's in. I mean, if that's my biggest gripe, I'm not doing too bad. Just saying. There's some ammonium. I'm hoping to come across the dead end with the uh, astroneer in it. Hmm. I was getting battery power for a second. My, uh... Oh, crap! It just fell! Are you kidding? It just fell to the floor below down there. Ha! <laughs> awesome. So, now I gotta make a floor where there wasn't a floor. Oh man, really? That's a long way down.
Wow, this is quite the descent into this cave network. Trying to eat my yogurt. I'm not coughing your I was watching this guy streaming the other day, his video and everything looked good. But he just kept picking his nose. I was like, dude, really? Like Stop doing the pills or the coke or whatever it is. Or freaking blow your nose or something. I mean, that, none of it made sense. I was like, why is this guy? I mean, all you can, all you're really noticing is him messing with his nose over and over. It's like, dude, blow your nose or something. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you should blow your nose. Maybe you should. I mean, I, I don't know. What? Definitely, if you've got a video streaming on you, you probably don't want to be picking your nose. I mean, I don't know. It's just a guess. Oh, my God, no. Oh, my God, no. Just getting close enough to get my oxygen back. Okay, so this is the confusing part. Oh, that one comes down, that one goes up, that one goes up. Okay, so this is where I screwed up. This thing just, just a death drop. Okay. Yeah, remember, don't panic. And when you're exploring other planets, it's really good to carry extra oxygen. Broked out trying to get to where you're going. Okay, we're gonna take this path and click it to our own little thingamahoodle and get to the bottom down here and grab this. Oh, come on, really? I did not grab that. How is, how is my cursor being down there grabbing this up here? Come on, people. Okay, stop grabbing other stuff stupidly, you piece of crap. All right. I'll turn my head the other way. Come on. Well, at least I got a couple research nodes. There's another one down there. There's also some minerals. I'm going to try to get as much of it before I leave. I should have brought two medium storages. Look how far down I had to dig to get to the cave system on this side. It's 
pretty crazy. Okay, what else we got for material? Got some other mineral. Um, don't need to make more tethers at the moment. Okay. Hmm. Purple site. Purple site. It's close to time for me to get off of here and go get actual stuff done. Still going off in these. Man. There could be so much more in here and I, I mean I'm only scratching the surface because I got forced to go down there. Let's see what's over here. Oh. This is over on the other side of one of the other zones because it's picked up my breathing hose from below somehow. Interesting. <coughs> Instead of going that way, it went this way. It's because I've got hoses running in that direction. Yeah, I do. Okay. So, we're just going to walk slowly because this is that precarious cliff thing that I... Okay, I then wanted to go down. Okay, that is down. Down this platform. So, what's this? More there. Okay. And then we can just go down here. There's ammonium. There's another uh, element right here. Um, there's some more minerals. There's dynamite. It just flashed over there. Laterite. I'm just kind of strip mining here. I'm not really filling any of my patches. In. At least I have. I probably should have. I'll regret it later. Um, I don't know how to travel with vehicles, or if you even can. If you have to, just build the vehicle on another planet or a location or if you can put a vehicle like, hook it to your ship somehow and carry it. I don't know. If you know anything like that, um, please comment and uh, fill me in. I would like to ooh, hopefully no other ones fell down in there. Okay. So Oh. Yeah, we're just gonna go for this because I really feel like falling into this in the future. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh yeah. So, um, what have I got planned today? Well, I trimming some hedges. Fixing, fixing someone's sink, uh, drain, sink drain. Um, I am fixing someone's sink drain, yeah. Uh, Wow. 
What? It's totally glitching out and not dying. Look. It's the super plant. The super plant. This plant will not die. Look, there's nothing holding it there. I'm just <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna pluck that off you buddy and what is going on? He's not dying. Okay. Well My bags are full anyway. Uh, go back up here. Turn our perspective. Hook our way up this little platform that's 15 stories above the ground. Uh, run for the ship. I do thank you guys for tuning in. And um, again, like I said, if you're interested in seeing anything specific, just uh, hit the comments. Let me know. Um, oh my gosh, I almost fell off of that. Okay, so there's two points I have to let go and re-grab it again in order to keep moving. Uh. Huh. I think that's the longest tunnel I've ever made to access a cave network. <laughs> okay. One, a two, a three. Well, that's not too bad for a short jaunt on the old space spaceship enterprise. Now we've got a purple marker here. We're going to come back. We're going to hook up that power generator, that solar panel to a power station inside of that cave there. But that'll be in a future episode. Um as of now, all I'm going to do is go back to the base, try to find the correct landing pad, and see if it stands out better, like we had intended. Hmm. It's going to be the blue base marker. Which is what that looks like right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Blue base bar marker next to my house. Okay. Then what do we do here? Well, this is what we're going to do here. We're going to... Because one thing that will be common uh, 
one thing that will be common will be the uh, uh, resource nodes coming back on our bases. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we got that hooked back up. I'm gonna take this research station. I'm gonna be using this specifically for out here for return shuttle shuttle missions. We're just gonna put it right here on this. Yes, hold on. We actually have more room. Okay, right there, right there. Okay, yeah. Reset this right about here. All. And then we can do this hill. Maybe reach it. Nope, can't reach it. go with that doll. And we take this hill. Okay, maybe that will be fine doll. So now we can store up to three items when we come back with them on uh, space missions right at this research station. And this one's worth 2,000. Nice. Let's see what else we can unlock in our pack. The points I've gotten so far. <coughs> Medium generator. Let's go out to the other machines because we're going to check these out in the future. We've got that. We've got the smelter. We've got the mineral extractor. We've got the hydronizer. Trade platform. We might as well unlock it. We're at seven grand. Why not? We're just gonna unlock everything one after it. Inhibitor mod. Okay. What's this one? Next one will be terrain analyzer. And we'll do shows about each one as we get them and check them out. Check them out. See what they do. Um, We're just going to fill this. As you can see, these, uh, the, uh, <coughs> the hydronizer is pretty, pretty efficient, really, when you think about it. Um, let's go empty my soil and just put, Let's go empty my soil and put more of that in there. <laughs> so, we empty my soil into here, we can make whatever, really. Um. Let's just take these back. One of those coals can go. Okay. Doo -de -doo -de -doo. Okay, so Okay, just put a piece of coal in there. Um
All right. I don't know why all that crap is going on my gun. Anyway, um, we're gonna put this in here um, for now. Oh man, the gun just keeps eating. Before I end, I'm just gonna put the rest of my containers in here just so they can be used and fill up with gas. Okay on that. See it's throttling the power on this. Um if I take a couple of aluminum. Um, I can make a ooh. Yeah, let's see if I can unlock the really big platform to see what, what it does for us. Um, triple seat, single seat, habitat at 6k, we want that to see if we can expand or expand or not. Or if it's just a myth. Okay, here we go. This is this. This is the medium platform, which is kind of weird. Why? Large platform B, which again, why? Um, large platform C, medium platform B. What was that other one? There was another really weird w looking one. Where did I unlock them all? I think I unlocked them all. Okay. Ooh, this here. Platform D. What? Okay, so that looks interesting. Well, let's see what what we make here, platform A. No, no, no. Don't do that. Uh, platform B. Platform C. Huh. Extra large. What? What just happened? Extra large. Medium smelter, mineral extractor, hydrogen go vehicle bay, fuel condenser. Trade platform is two aluminum, large platform A, B, C is two aluminum. Okay, we're gonna do that because that looks really cool. And I'm waiting on this uh, very large, which I want that. That's 2K. It's going to take us a bit. Um, but anyway, guys, um, I think I'm going to take this platform with me into outer space. But that will be in the next video. So thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, I appreciate your time and time and space. And thanks for supporting me and my channel. And uh, hey, till next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Woohoo. Yeah. Bye-bye. See you later. See you. See you. See you later now. Woohoo.